hey guys welcome back if you remember in the previous video we saw uh, we saw a problem and it was uh, in fact there are two problems last time when i was trying to push to the company account it was not allowing but like i said sometimes it works on intellij sometimes it not it always works on visual studio code this time you can see i'm able to push code on the same company account that was one but i think problem that we were interested in was if we do git config user.name uh, or user.email it was giving my generic username and generic user email and what we were interested to have like company specific uh, name and company specific email uh, for company accounts and private specific name and private specific email for personal accounts because at this moment if i do the same here get config user email we have the same email and you know in, in both the places and the reason why we have this is because in my user repository we have this global git config file uh, where is git config file and if i open this let's reload it has this generic username and generic password you know which is used everywhere but when you want to work on your hobby projects and when you want to work on your now, company projects what you want is uh, you want specific emails you know for each of them so the way you can do it is is very easy uh, you have to do something like this you have to include a if statement so for example if you add this after the username so now you're saying if you are in any specific personal directory then use a specific uh, override kit config file if you are in specific company name then uh, you know use an override uh, git config file if i save this what you have to do is you actually have to go into uh, let's say let's go to d drive and in in d drive let's go to personal and twitter so you have to go to personal you have to add this git config personal file which now contains the name of your, your personal name and personal email and the same you have to do for uh, for example for your company so go to twitter and git config twitter so you can give your username for twitter and your company name company email for twitter right and now if i try to run the same commands so for example here if i do git config user email you will see now it's picking the right email right it's not picking the email which was generic but it's picking the email which is coming from uh, from my company name then this is the same copy in my d drive but if i do change directory personal zero and if i do git config user.email you will see instead of showing the previous email uh, of power tester uh, like instead of showing this email now it's showing the email which is coming from you know my personal email so with this when you are making commits on on your personal repository and on your company repository those commits will have your company and your personal emails and not like mixing them up so yeah i hope that's that you find this useful you might think that uh, you know with you might think like Oh, why not then just remove this generic thing and only keep this one well you will have a problem let's say if you're trying to uh, clone a repository and so let me give you an example so if i remove this and if i save this let's say let's go back to some project so maybe uh, let's go back to another project in redrive which is same zero uh, change directory to zero. Uh, let's see how many branches I have. So let's say if I create a new branch, check out branch num2, and if I do a uh, let's say Visual Studio Code, let me open it there. And let's say if I want to add the calls, well, it's just a branch, I'm not going to keep it. But let's say if I try to commit anything here. And I would say adding goals it will not allow me it will say hey make sure you configure your username and user email in kit so really there is no real 
uh, you know bypassing this so that's why what you want is you want all three of these things so not just conditional statements uh, but you also need a generic username and email uh, you know that you can use for your generic uh, uh, generic repositories so with this i think we covered all the topics that you want to cover uh, in this particular uh, video so have correct emails for each account type have a generic email so have separate override git config files we saw that then we have a generic account in global git config file which is present in your root repository let's go which is here in your username and with this i think we covered all the things that we needed to do to work properly with multiple github accounts so now we can resume and go back uh, in you know uh, in adding more doing more core things for for our playlist zero so in the next video i would like to finally go back and run some tests in parallel right so i hope you learned something new in this video i look forward to see you guys in another video see you cheers bye bye